so it tells us that there is a, a line. This line goes through this point. Just a quick little visualization of that. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it goes through this point. And it's perpendicular to this line. All right, there's only one thing that's useful from being told that it's perpendicular to this line. That's the only thing that's useful from being told it's perpendicular to this line. Johnny? The slope. The slope. Is this important? No. 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 So I'm just giving you a heads up, because I see this pop up when, when we study this topic. A lot of times I'll see this negative 5 from this equation pop up in your equation. It has nothing to do. If, it has it, if it's in there, it's by coincidence. There's no reason why you should pay any attention that negative five. Only to the slope. The slope of this line is what? Negative two. Negative two, right? So our line's perpendicular to a line with a slope of negative two. So what is the slope of our line? Two. Almost? Or one over two. Right. That's, it's kind of most tricky when the slope is just a number, right? You've got to remember the reciprocal of that is one over two. Right? So we've got a line with a, uh, a point of negative three seven and a slope of one half. And uh, now we don't need to worry about this at all anymore. We've got all the information we need. Okay? It's the opposite reciprocal, right? That's negative, this is positive, that's two, this is one over two. Kids, were you going to walk us through it or do you have a question? Um, uh, do we start with the y equals mx plus b? We could do it either way. Okay, we can. Uh, We'll, we'll do it both ways. <coughs> so we'll do it the way we start with uh, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, because that's kind of what this form is built to do. And we can use y equals mx plus b. Just two different approaches. Okay. Uh, so let's start with this one. So this, remember, this y is a variable. This x is a variable. So we have y the variable minus y. Where, what's this? Seven, right? The y from the point. That's y1. This is x1. Equals the slope, which we found to be 1 half, times x minus the x from the point, which is negative 3. We have y minus 7 equals 1 half times x plus 3. Y minus, if I was doing this in my own paper, I would be writing so many steps, right? But I'm just doing it so that uh, hopefully I don't go too fast for anybody. We'll distribute the 1 half. We got 1 half x plus 3 halves. So we'll add 7 to both sides. y equals 1 half x plus 3 halves plus 7. But I, can, I can't add 3 halves and 7, right? Yeah, you can. Well, yeah. So you don't need yeah, yeah. I mean, we can add 7 to 3 halves. It's just we need to get a common denominator. That's, that's all I mean by that. Okay. So the, if we turn 7 into a number that has a denominator of 2, it'll be what? 14, 14 halves. 14 over 2, 14 halves. So y equals 1 half x plus 14 halves plus 3 halves is 17 halves. We're done. OK, now for the other way. Using this guy here. Well, we still, we know the slope. We know an x. We know a y. We can plug those things in. The only thing left is b figure out what b is. So y, which is 7, equals m, which is 1 half, times x, which is negative 3, plus b. 7 equals negative 3 halves plus b. Add 3 halves to both sides. There we go. So we have 7 plus 3 halves, so we have 14 halves plus 3 halves, 17 halves what b is, we plug that back into the equation, right, for b, and we have y equals 1 half x plus b, which is 17 halves. <coughs> I prefer this one, because I don't, I just prefer not to find a number and then have to go back and plug it in. I just, when I'm done, I'm done. Once I've got y by itself, it's over. Here, when you get b by itself, you have a number that you have to go back and plug it back in. Whatever, it's up to you. Uh, just a side note here, the quest on Tuesday, this guy right here, I'll, I'll put it in the 
there's a, there'll be a little reminder sitting at the top. I'll throw that in there so you don't have to memorize the point slope for it. Just how to use it. Seem good? Is that one all right? Yeah. Okay. Really, what we've done here is more practice from the homework from yesterday, like that we turned in yesterday, where we use the point slope form. The only additional thing is we had to figure out what the slope was from this information. Well, that was it. It's the only thing the perpendicular part added. Uh, then 13. Thirteen. So give us a point. Negative five two. There's a line shown in a graph here. I will attempt to draw. Looks like it goes to the point negative two three. And it goes to the point negative one negative two. It looks like to me. line we're going to write the equation of is perpendicular to this line. So what information are we going to get out of this line? Sean? It's negative, or the perpendicular line will be positive. The perpendicular line will have a positive slope. slope. Okay. So we're going to get the slope out of it, right? Yeah. Well, we know that, uh, well, can we tell what the slope of this line is? Okay. Yes. Um, So yeah, we go over one and down five, right? So our slope is, we know this is the horizontal, we go down five, that's a negative, that's our vertical, negative five over one, or just negative five. Our line's perpendicular to this line, which means its slope is gonna be what? John? Positive, one over five. Positive, one over five. Go again. I'm going to do it faster this time, both ways. Uh, point slope form y minus 2 equals 1 fifth times x minus negative 5. Okay, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. Knowing this is plus 5 in my head, I'm going to distribute the 1 fifth as well. 1 fifth x. 1 fifth times a positive 5, that's going to be a plus 1, plus 1, plus 2 is plus 3. Follow all that? Then we'll do it the slope intercept way. Uh, we got y is 2 equals the slope 1 fifth times negative 5 plus b. Okay, so that is uh, 2. That's equal to 1 fifth times negative 5 is a negative 1 plus b. b equals, add 1 to both sides, 3. Put it back in. y equals, is everyone all right? There it is, both, both ways, okay? Uh, with that first one, I was able to do a lot of stuff in my head and actually get the, the slope intercept form in like one step. And this other guy, I kind of need to keep track of you know, what, what is this number? Okay, it's negative one, right? Then when I said add one to both sides, figure out the P is three, and then plug it back in. So a few more steps. So maybe another trying to sell you on the point slope form. It's really good stuff. Uh, that was it, 10 and 13. Everybody feel pretty good? Okay. Then, let's put everything away. So we have then, uh, you know, the request for us to write the equation of a line this line goes to this point, and it is parallel to this guy right here, to the line that's created by this equation. So what does knowing this tell us about this line? Monica? It has the same slope. And the slope would be? 
negative three force. Mm -hmm. Very good. And we're done with that, right? We have no more use for that. That six has nothing to do with us. We just need to know the slope. So we know the slope now. Uh, let's uh, vote on a way. Should we do point slope form? <laughs> or slope intercept form? All right, we'll do slope intercept form. We got y equals mx plus b. Uh, we'll plug in the y, that's a negative two. Uh, the slope, negative three fourths, times x, which is eight, plus b. Negative two equals, that's over one, four cancels with eight, that's two. Negative three times two, negative six. Plus b, add six to both sides, and b is four. Plug it back in, y equals negative three fourths x plus four. Good? Very good. Questions? No. Okay. Here we go. Same kind of deal, only this, this time it's perpendicular. So the slope of this line is going to be what? Come on. Opposite of Opposite, so positive instead of negative. And also. Reciprocal. So the slope of this guy's going to be what? Four thirds. Four thirds. <coughs> Four thirds. Okay. Well, we're going to do a point slope form this time because uh, we did slope intercept form last time. So y minus y1. y1 is 4. Right, this right here equals the slope. 4 thirds times x minus x1, which is 9. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. And I'm going to distribute this 4 thirds. 4 thirds times x. 4 thirds times negative 9. 3 times negative 9. That's negative 3. 4 times negative 3. Negative 12. Plus 4. Y equals 4 thirds x minus 8. Okay, very good. Uh, all right. Now. I'm going to start things off with a little radio. So, how many of you guys have ever been to a graduation like that? Pretty boring, right? Yes. <laughs> Very boring. Why is it so boring? Because it's boring. Just I'm just saying names, like hundreds of names. It's just ridiculous. Okay. Uh, that was that was a master's of law degree at Harvard, right? So there's not a lot of people there. Okay. A lot of people go to to Harvard Law School, but they were getting master's degrees at a prestigious university. So I mean, imagine going to a graduation for people just getting like a graduate or a, a bachelor's degree in like business or communications or something. That's the one I I think the one that was Ooh, tough. So that was a lot of names, even more names if you go to a different graduation. What, what does that make you wonder about the guy who made this video and you saw the names scroll by, and you saw the arrow point to the name of his cousin there, if you've ever seen that? His name scrolled by. Your cousin? No, not my cousin. Yeah. Right? All those names scrolled by, and finally, we got to this guy's cousin. Oh. 
So what does that make you wonder? He probably fell asleep. What's that? He probably fell asleep. That's not a that's not a wondering. <laughs> what does it make you wonder? What questions does it bring up? That's not a question either. <laughs> what questions does it bring up? What did he do during it? What did he do during it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Why are you wondering what he did? Because it's gonna take. Take. Take forever. Take forever. Why don't they just say all the names at once? Just be like really quickly, just do it. Uh, <coughs> Well, because those people are, they got a master's degree in, in law and, you know, they want to feel important. Uh, so, personally, I didn't go to my graduation because it was so long. But, uh, don't tell the parents it's going to matter. Don't use that in your argument. Uh, yeah, it just takes a long time. How long did it take to get this person whose name starts with a V, right? Way down at the bottom. We're gonna figure this out. What are some things that you need to know? Johnny? How much time it took to say each person's name? All right, so we need like a time per person. Does that sound familiar? All right. All right. Oh. What else do we need to know? How many people were there? How many people were there? How many people were on that list? Yeah, Johnny? And also how many people that, like how many people that guy is. Okay, how many uh, people is that person from the, from the top, I think? I think that's actually a woman. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I uh, watched the end of this one. So we need to know how many people is it until Adarsh? I guess. Adarsh? Maybe Abraham is the guy. Abraham. Bari? Bari? No. <laughs> until that person comes up. Okay, well, we can help you with those things. Let me pass these out. Okay. Don't don't mark these up. A lot. I'm going to use these for the other class too. So uh, be nice to them. Oh, yeah, it's the, uh, it's not a big deal if you count it as, one, if you count it as two names, and 
Just so subtract one, right? Well, Why are all their names really hard they're to pronounce? A bit of dual then that person at the podium is really going to have a hard time. It's a 106, it's 159 names. Okay, so I'm going to call how many are there? Uh, that one has 32. I got 84 on those. 35. I got 76 on those. Yeah, because this, this, this is I one person. This is all one person. Well, try again. We only have two numbers here and they're uh, not terribly far off, but they're far off. Wait, they're both well, these two, they're, they're the only two numbers we have, and they're a little bit off of each other, right? Well, they're both Jacob. And they're both one person's numbers. 39, 39, Charles. 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 
Boom, it's time. 20 seconds before Boom, another time. You should probably be recording the time at either at the beginning of the reading or the end of the reading of the name to be consistent. Diva Monica Acuno. This is the next one. This is like six. Seven. Sarah Almogren. Oh, she <laughs> cheated. Rosanna Plata. She just reads what the, what's on the card there. That's how it works with these big graduations. They just hand them the card. This is how you read my name. How many people have you seen? Estina Ow. Oh. oh my gosh, come on, gather some data. Let's not waste our time here. Time it was? Yeah, we started at 20 when they started reading. So 130. Stop. Should we yeah. stop? Yeah. We got some good data, you think? Where is my crew? So 14 people. It took 130 seconds. What? <laughs> okay, so where are we? I'm trying to be over here. Okay, so. Uh, Time, time per name. What is it? Okay, so we count on how many people? Fourteen. Fourteen people. How long did it take? A minute. Minute thirty seconds. Uh, maybe we should go like ninety seconds. Okay. So how long does it take to read one person's name? I guess maybe we should flip this around, huh? We should say 90 seconds for 14 people. 6.42 and then it keeps going seconds. Yes. 6.42 seconds per person. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to write an equation where x is the number of people and y is the total time it takes to read all of those people's names. <coughs> then, oh, so it's really so eager. Y equals 6.42x minus 20. Minus 20. Minus 20? Because that's how much, because you subtract 20 seconds from the actual time because that's how long it took her to start talking. Should we subtract? Doesn't this tell me how long it's going to take to read X people's names? But starting at the person's name that we started watching them, right? So it's going to take an extra 20 seconds. But isn't that really assuming that we're reading, from, we're starting from the person that we happened to see at the beginning of that video? Or was that the first person on the list and all the, the 20 other seconds were? Yeah, I think it was the first person. That know. was the first okay. person. So it was the first person. So the 20 seconds is no people. It's just, and now we're going to read the names, the people, the graduating, right? Just all the stuff that had yeah. to do with the people. Okay, good. So plus 20 seconds. Uh, so let's figure out how long this timer should be set for. Because we know that there are how many people until this person's cousin? Oh. Right there, right? We didn't do that. Did we Oh, we did the 12. Yeah, that should be so Oh, we did the total? We didn't go to the, the person's cousin? No, that's not Oh, let's go to the person's cousin. But how so long? So it should be 155. 155? Yeah. If we go back from the 167 after the cousin? Yeah. Uh, Okay, yes. so we're going to plug 155 in here? Yeah. yeah. Here it is, it's exciting. Oh, 6.42 times 155 plus 20. 1015.1 seconds. How many minutes is that? Uh, Divided into groups of 60 seconds, right? That'll be how many minutes? 100 minutes. 16.91 minutes. Let's see if we're right. Let's 
see if we're right. Uh, there it is, that could be the answer. Oh, close. Oh, there. We forgot to add the 20 seconds to it. Mariam Abadi. Seventeen minutes, fifteen seconds, fourteen seconds. This concludes the LLA degrees. We're about to add the Did we? I don't think so. But let's double check. Here's my calculator. Plus twenty. So sixteen minutes ninety-one or sixteen point nine one. So that's almost seventeen minutes. Sixteen point nine. Stop by a few seconds, not too bad. A little bit of variation in there. Maybe if you pay a little more attention, counted the time and the people a little better. I don't know. I have my doubts about it. But we did really well. Really well. Yeah, I have. Oh, hold on. You're going to want to write this down. We've got three problems for homework. Six, seven, and ten. Two. Monday, 23rd.